Welcome, I'm Simon Watt, the Head of R&D Operations at Central Oceania and uh, we're just making a short video today on the topic of uh, treated seeds um, and we look at developing uh, seed coatings uh, to reduce the dust from treated seeds. So part of what we do involves industry specific training and today's video is an excerpt from one of our presentations looking at the dust issue. So, is dust really a problem? Uh, given that uh, standard seed treatment involves the use of fungicides and insecticides, there are obviously concerns over health and safety for operators and bystanders alike. And if the active ingredients applied are not staying on the seed where they intended to be, then their performance can be lessened and crop stand and yield may ultimately be affected. So dust is generally not a problem for seed flow or plantability, uh, unless in the cases of uh, large pieces of seed coating for making blockages or misses in the planting. Um, certainly doesn't look good if to open up a bag of seed and be uh, greeted with a cloud of dust and uh, obviously nobody wants any adverse environmental impact where the dust travels beyond the region of planting and affects wildlife. Having established that the dust is an unwanted, um, is there more to understand about dust? And one of the most important things to understand is that not all dust is equal and the size of the dust particles um, can lead to different types of impact. And not least of which is how far the problems will travel. So you can see from this diagram that your larger dust particles are going to fall near where you're working, smaller dust particles will travel further still and very small dust particles can become airborne. The biggest problem by far really is the small dust or the very small dust which can travel beyond the planted area, can be environmental hazards and obviously a health issue because it becomes respirable. Um, the other kinds of dust are also unwanted. They cause the uh, loss of the active ingredients, there's potential health and environmental risks and the larger dust really can be a nuisance in terms of um, planting and just uh, a nuisance to handle. So how do we measure dust from the treated seeds? Um, the Hobach dust meter is becoming uh, the international standard for dust measurements and we'll just describe briefly how that works. So the uh, seed is placed in the metal barrel of the uh, meter where it's rotated for a set time while a vacuum pulls air across the seed. Any dust is then deposited either in the glass bottle segment of the meter or trapped on the air filter at the very end. Um, this is used to generate data on both the fine dust and the coarse dust. Um, and time, speed and rate of air can all be altered uh, according to what you want to measure. So some of the data that you will get from this is shown here as an example. Um, it's two graphs, two different seed lots. The bars on the left show the active only, uh, so you can see the sort of typical dust that you will get. And the middle bar represents uh, one of the polymers that we developed here at Centro Oceania. Um, so our Flare 3 product and you can see there the reduction of dust by using the actives and the polymer in combination. But it's very important to select the right polymer and you'll see on the right hand side of these graphs are some examples of other products that can be used which either are not as effective or can actually make the problem worse. So it's very important to select the right polymer for what you're doing at the time. In terms of uh, acceptable levels, there are uh, standards set um, in Europe by the ESA uh, for a range of crops. There's also guidance from seed stewardship in the USA. Um, and a lot of the work being done at the moment is uh, more of a comparative assessment uh, what's an improvement over what we're currently doing. And uh, given the standard set by the ESA, there is that standard test, as I say, but there are also some extended tests that uh, we like to run here, 
that look at um, going beyond the, the two minutes in the standard test. You can see here, this is the kind of uh, result that we get. So the very small dust is captured on the filter paper at the end. Um, we get very good consistent measurements um, from that, uh, that type of test. And that's the one really is of most interest. We do also look at the larger dust particles, but this measurement can tend to be inconsistent depending on the seed um, that has its own breakage uh, beyond the seed coat, but is, is in use for information, gives us a good guide as to whether that polymer is working well or not. But the, the real data or the real interest, I guess, is that uh, filled paper which gives you that fine measurement. Okay, so thanks for listening. I hope you uh, got something useful from this. And uh, if you have any dust issues with your sea coating, uh, please get in touch with us at Centre Oceania or any of our.